Lucenda Community Rewards Program helps AAUW's Tech Track to offer this camp for 60 girls from all over New Mexico every year, all with a focus on STEM, science, technology, engineering, or math, at a cost to the family of only $50 each because of the generous donations from organizations around the state like Nusenda. Nusenda Credit Union, the power of we. Visit nusenda.org to learn how community rewards is impacting communities. Federally insured by NCUA. It's a new season of Student Athlete Spotlight. We are presented by Nusenda Credit Union, Episode 1. Adam Young, pleased to be joined by Aggie football quarterback Jonah Johnson. Good to see you again. How was your offseason? It was good. It was real good. Uh, we, got, we got to see ourselves in, in action and see how we uh, performed as a team. So um, uh, I think it went pretty well. 2020 was such an interesting year. You only get two games in. Did it help, though, to learn the playbook, get acclimated to the offense during that year? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I'm more of a you know, hands-on learner. So, I mean, doing it all in action and, you know, instead of learning it um, on the whiteboard, um, it's better to do it, you know, hand-on. And uh, I uh, definitely learned the playbook pretty well, so, yeah. What's the adjustment been like to Las Cruces going from Fresno to here? Uh, I mean, it's not much to do out here, but uh, I like it a lot. It's a lot, um, it's a real football, or actually it's a real um, school town. Like, everybody supports uh, New Mexico State. So, I mean, I really like it out here, um, but man, all there, is to, all there is to do is really focus on football in school, so I like it a lot. Season's approaching. I think one of the areas that could be really pivotal this year is offensive line. You did not have Eli Johnson during the two spring games. He's a huge addition. Sage Dockstadter has had a really good career here. How important is that offensive line for you as the quarterback? Uh, I mean, for any quarterback, it's definitely important. Um, I mean, I look to those guys for protection. And, uh, I know they want to protect me as well, so um, I mean, I think this upcoming fall we'll uh, have a pretty good old line and I think they'll do a good job, so yeah. We got a glimpse of you in the spring, but it was only two games. You didn't play the entire game, so it wasn't a ton of reps, but it was some reps. What will Aggie fans see from yourself in the future? Uh, I mean, I don't, personally, I don't think I performed to my full um, ability, so I mean, to the Aggie fans and everybody else, that's all my... That's my fault, but um, I think they'll see, you know, the real me. Um, I didn't, like I said, I didn't perform my best of my ability, so um, in the fall, I definitely uh, tend to do that. Who is the real you? What do you feel like you bring to the table? Man, I, honestly, I feel like I bring everything to the table. Um, I mean, just being mobile, um, extending plays, and just um, making that intermediate throw, that long throw, and um, doing what needs to be done pretty much. The phrase that we heard coming in was all purpose. You're a guy who can throw and also run. Have you always been a, a dual threat quarterback? Yeah, uh, no doubt. Um, I mean, college and uh, JUCO and in high school, I you know did the read option and stuff like that. And um, yeah, pretty much. I just I, I pretty much like to you know do a little bit of both. So yeah. I don't want to go back too too far, but if we could go back to your early years in football, your pee wee days, real quick. Were you always the quarterback? No, actually, um, I started playing quarterback in seventh grade. Um, before then, I was a fullback. Used to run the ball a lot, but um, yeah, that's pretty much where I get my running from, uh, running the ball in the, my younger days. So yeah, I started playing quarterback in seventh grade. Playing fullback, did that help you as a quarterback? Uh, yeah, you could say you could say so. Um, I mean, I'm usually behind as a fullback. I'm usually behind the quarterback, so I see a lot that the quarterback sees as well. So. Yeah, I think it helped. Coach had David Garrard at East Carolina. We've heard that comparison a lot with you and David. Do you like that comparison? And the second part of that is, who do you try to be like? Yeah, I mean, that's not a, I mean, dude played in the NFL for eight years or something like that. So, I mean, to be compared to a guy like that, that's a, that's definitely a compliment to me. Um, but I really look up to, you know, Cam Newton, Russell Wilson, guys like that who can you know, throw the ball well and also you know, extend plays and move on their feet, so yeah. Let's finish with school. You're a business major. What's your plans with that? Uh, one day I want to have my own business. Um, I mean, I have people in my family who have their own business, so um, that's definitely you know, my peers that I look up to and want to be like. So you know, having my own business one day is something I want to do. Jonah, good luck this year. Thanks so much for joining us. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. That's Aggie football quarterback Jonah Johnson. This has been Student Athlete Spotlight presented by New Senda Credit Union.